Hey everybody, it's Jamie, AKA The Bag Lady. It is Thursday, um, April 27th. And what I've got for you today is an America's um, Thrift Supply. There should be five piece purse and um, a designer in here as well. Um, they've stuffed it all into one box. So I don't know, I don't know what, you know, I don't know if there's any extras. I don't know what's in there. So. For those that don't know me, my name's Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, ThreadUp, and The Real Real. By day, I'm a business banking loan renewal specialist. Um, sometimes I do live auction sales on whatnot. Haven't really been doing any, don't have any plans to do one anytime soon, but um, I still maintain a presence on the site. So... Um, Anyway, with that, you guys, I'm going to get on with this unboxing because um, this is going to be, um, well, I had my surgery on Monday. So anyway, I'll save all that for story time. Let's let's do purses. So for those that, that come to, to actually see the purses and not, and not just the story time, <clears throat> let's give them their purses first. Oh my gosh, I need a new knife. I'm either gonna hurt myself or, well, hopefully not the dog. Okay, box is open, everyone is safe. I am definitely replacing my knife. Okay. So, I did pay $80.97. No, I did not use anybody's code. I know Kristen's code is good. It's just such a hassle. And I've, I've gone through and tried to input the code and then have the item sell out on me. So, I just, I, it, I don't even fuck around with it. So, $80.97, I got, or maybe I did use a code. I don't know, $80.97 is how much these purses cost me. And on top, we have a coach. Okay, so this is one that I have not, I don't think I've sold this one before. Um, let me put this down here. This is really pretty. Card fabric, um, leather trim, brass hardware. Let's see. Um, we are a factory bag, but still, it's cute. It does it does need a little bit of a clean, but these are super easy to clean up. So um, I'm happy with that. And it did appear that they've given me more than one designer. Oh. So the next one is Michael Kors. And I love this handbag. This is gorgeous. It's metallic leather. It has chain detailing. Now, there is an ink spill inside there. You can see it. I'm not going to be able to get that out. And even to try to get it out would just um, probably make it worse. So I will leave it alone. Um, nobody's looking that deep inside your purse anyway. And if they are, they shouldn't be. Um, but this, I am so, yeah, I'm really stoked about this purse. We've got a zipper closure and it works. You know, there is, there is a little bit of strap wear, but the way that this purse is made with the distressing, you, you really can't even, it, it just looks like it's part of the purse. 
I mean, what a great, great bag. Okay, so that's Michael Kors. Um, and, yep, I am certain that I can make my money back and even turn a bit of a profit with these two bags. So, very happy with those two bags. So, let's see what I got for the five-piecers. I do see this giant Vera Bradley um, messenger bag. So this is pretty cool. And I do believe, I think this might be the plum crazy pattern, but I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent certain, but it's in great shape in, um, so yep. Messenger bag, Vera Bradley. I will take this all day long. It's a great bag. So, yep, thank you. Next up, we have this brown bag. It's a crossbody. It appears, ooh, ooh. Could this be? Maybe not. I was thinking it. Because in here, it's got like the um, suede pocket. It is giving me Patricia Nash vibes. But is it Patricia Nash? <gasps> it is Patricia Nash. So this is a vintage Patricia Nash brown crossbody. And I thought, I really did think it was, I'm getting good. Um, so this baby is gorgeous. She is absolutely gorgeous. Um, but I don't know if she's for sale or not. I have to wait until I hear back from Bryn and, um, Janet because they get first dibs on any vintage coach or Patricia Nash or Toomey bags that I may come across. So, you guys let me know. Does this go on in your pile? But that is a gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous bag. I love Patricia Nash. And, you know, I was not really a fan, but Bryn and Janet turned me on to Patricia Nash. So... All right, next up we have this brown bag. And um, it's kind of got like that cow print thing. White. Oh, this is a Myra bag. All right, so I do know this brand. This brand does sell well. Oh. And sweet, it also has... A cross body strap. Now, I am wondering though, is does this really go with this bag? Because the leather, I don't know about this. Um, I'll have to do my research because this is adjustable. This hardware doesn't match at all and it is definitely not leather, whereas I believe on the Myra bags, they're leather. So anyway, quick Google Lens search will um, tell me what I need to know, whether or not that this goes with it. Um, but great bag, great, great bag. So yes, America's Thrift, you are doing me good. Good, good. All right, and then next up we have this. Ooh, I don't know what you are. Hammett? I think that is, I really think that that's an amazing brand. Let's see. Hammett, Los Angeles. And you know what? I'm going to tell you something. It's got this beautiful red lining. This leather 
is like, it, it's like butter, this leather. And the bag appears to be brand new. It's got this studded detailing. And in the front, look how it is in the front there. It's got like this, oh, and it's almost like pockets. It is pockets. So this is a Hammett bag, incredible, incredible black. Oh my God, this feels so luxurious. I'm, I'm gonna say that this is a money bag, you guys. Um, go absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely stunning bag. In the interior, again, the, I, I mean, this, this leather, it just feels... And then here's your interior. It's so clean. I, it just needs a little vacuuming. That's it. You got an inside zipper pocket. You've got great hardware. Oh my God, this bag, you guys, is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh my God, I can't wait to do my research on that one. Okay, and there are more, you guys. So this is an Antonio Milani and it's just, it's really, it's, I, I have sold this brand before. It is not anything special. It's not going to fetch a whole lot. Um, and you know, this one, it does need a little bit of cleaning up, a little wiping down, but it's like a fake pony hair. I will list it um, just based on style. Um, somebody I'm sure will pay $10, $12 for this purse and it won't take anything just to give it a quick wipe down. So that's cool. And this, I bet you any money, this is a lucky bag. Is it? Yep. Think. Yep, this is definitely Lucky. Okay, I thought it was Lucky brand because I just got one similar to this in the suede. Um, it was different colors and a little bit different style of a bag, but you know what? It sold fast and for good money. So... Um, yeah, this is very, very boho um, and very on trend right now. And it's, it's in good shape. So yeah, wow, you guys, I am really, really jazzed at the bags they sent. So I got a Lucky Brand suede and I wish I could remember what I sold the last one for. I want to say I sold the last one for like 40 or 50 bucks, maybe even a little more. So... Um, we got the Lucky Brand Suede. That's one. Two with the Antonio Milani. Three with the Hammett. Four with the Myra. Five with the Patricia Nash. And six with the Vera Bradley. And then I got, on the designer, they guarantee you one, and I got two. I got a Michael Kors. I feel like I sold a purse similar to that. And I got this coach. So, you know what, you guys? I am digging this box. So, this is the second one in a row that's been pretty good for me. Um... <clears throat> Although, you know what, um, that yellow coach set that I got in the last box, I thought for sure one of you guys would have snatched up that whole set for $75. Nope, no takers. So I do have it up for sale in pieces on Poshmark. And I did have somebody give me an offer on the wristlet that I accepted today and then her payment didn't go through. So it didn't get sold. So anyway... Um, but 
this is a great, great lot of boxes or purses. So, um, let's see. Designer stuff update. Um, so the last designer box I got two Michael Kors pieces. I did, I did email thread up. I'm sure it's falling upon deaf, deaf, the uh, deaf ears or deaf ears. Cause I've not heard or gotten a response and I don't really expect to, but somebody did point out to me that the dress was like a super higher end dress. And I did look it over and they are correct. I do believe what I'm going to do is send it into the real real because it's not going to get shit on Poshmark. I think um, where I have my best chances of capitalizing on the worth is going to definitely be um, the real real. I've actually sent in a bunch of different items to them. I sent in the pink YSL jacket. They listed it at $350. I sent in... Um, my Gucci Supreme tote bag that I offered to you guys, I think for $350, they sold it right away within an hour for $425. Um, so, I mean, my cut isn't quite what it would have been if I had sold it to one of you guys. But um, anyway, it's I did get a good price for it um, on the real real. So I actually sent a lot of my luxury items into them just because I got to get them moving. And, um, you know, so that I can get back to playing in the mid tier category range where I'm comfortable. Um, I got to get rid of all the high end stuff and, you know, the designer boxes, I baby, my, I baby whine about them every chance I get there. I, I never feel like they're good enough. And you know what? Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. And you know what? At the end of the day, as a reseller, I know that I have to pay to play. So I know not every box is going to be a winner. And you know what? Yep, I'm going to cuss. If I get a crappy piece, yep, I'm going to cuss. And I'm going to let y'all know that I think it's a crappy piece. But at the end of the day, I know what I'm doing. Um, and the rewards in most cases far outweigh the risks for me and for my risk tolerance everybody's different. Okay. Um, so this may not be for you. You know, you may not have the appetite or the risk tolerance. Um, and I've definitely slowed down a lot on, you know, what I'm ordering. I'm really trying to stay true to one box a week. You know, I might sneak in an extra here and there. I did do, I did do a fun box for you guys. And I accidentally deleted the video and I just didn't have it in me to redo the fun box because it wasn't all that great. I got, I did get a pair of hundred dollar underwear that was new with tags. I did get a bra that was new with tags and I did get a pack of socks that were new with tags. Underwear and socks have sold. So I've almost made my money back. Once the bra sells, hopefully I'll make my money back. But other than that, there was really nothing in there to sell. Um, so it was not worth re-recording. Re but anyway, <clears throat> I'm, I'm on, we're on 18 minutes here. I'm not trying to keep you guys forever. Um, <clears throat> so last Thursday, I went out, went to trivia night, had a great time. My girlfriend dropped me off. The brother-in-law started messaging me and pestering me to go out. And y'all, I went out with him on a work night. And... Anyway, we had a good time, um, but I did get home early. I was hungover on Friday, but it's all good. And then I decided, you know, because I went out on a work night, I decided I'm going to stay in, you know. Excuse me. I'm going to stay in. I'm going to eat right. I'm going to take care of my body because, you know, I'm having this surgery on Monday. So I stayed in. Friday night, Saturday night, and my brother-in-law was blowing up my phone Saturday night to go out, texting me pictures of, you know, all the dudes that were at the Moose, Young Buck, and some other guys, and I was like, nope, not going out, not going out. So, I didn't go out. I stayed in, stayed true, and stayed in, went to bed early. So, I got up to pee, and I heard my phone ding. I'm like, what the hell? 
And I really wasn't going to look because I figured he either wanted me to come pick him up or, you know, and with him, if, if the bar's still open and he wants you to come pick him up, it's just a ruse to get you in there to drink, you know, with him. So, but anyway, I ultimately looked at the phone and he was in my driveway. Apparently, whenever he dropped his brothers off, he got followed and he got spooked. So he pulled into my driveway and he wanted to know if he could come in and spend the night on the couch or he was going to sleep in the driveway all night. So it's a good thing that I, that I looked at my messages and, you know, so of course I went to the door and got him and said, yep, come in, hit the couch. And I offered to cook for him and he was like, no, just go back to bed. And I said, okay, gladly. And I no sooner get back in bed than his brother Benny is calling me. <laughs> is Michael there? His wife's worried about him. Oh shit, he didn't tell his wife where he was at. So I had to message my sister-in-law. I let her know. He's here, he's sleeping, he's safe. She was good. Then Benny starts messaging me, wanting to know if I was feeding, feeding Mike his salmon. <laughs> oh my God, these guys. So anyway, um, yeah, didn't even go out and ended up with excitement at my house on a Saturday night. So, um, but yeah, I'm actually, I'm staying in, I'm behaving. I did go last night. I did, my brother-in-law and I did go, um, to dinner. I had to make a return and he's like my shopping buddy. So he went with me to make my return and, you know, I bought him dinner. We went to PF Chang's and, had a few drinks, but I'm not drinking anymore until well, 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 well after my surgery. Everything that I'm reading, you know, it, no smoking, no drinking, you know. Um, so I'm going to toe the line because I got two, two bikinis, you guys, two. And I tried them on. And honestly... I, I would probably, with a with the right cover-up, I would probably wear them now, even without the surgery. So I'm hoping that, you know, once I get the surgery, that it definitely makes me a little bit more confident about that, that area. But anyway, so with that, you guys, um, I'm going to do my best to get these purses listed tomorrow, Saturday. Um... Sunday, but I am closing my closet Sunday, um, Sunday night, probably around 10 PM. Um, just because I know I'm going to be in the hospital. Well, Monday is my surgery. I'm going to be in the hospital overnight. Um, I may not even be able to stand up straight for two to three weeks. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to bend over and like do packaging and listing and all of that stuff. So I don't know really yet, you guys, how long my closet's going to be closed. Um, video content, I did get, I do have a fun box coming. So I did score a fun box. I am going to try to score another purse box tomorrow for you guys. No promises. I may not. I may just like get the fun box, but, um, even if I don't have unboxings, I will still pop on and do a Friday night video and just let you guys know where I'm at, how I'm feeling, what's going on. And y'all know there's going to be some excitement, even though, even though your girl is going to be down for a minute with surgery, trust my friends and the brother-in-law and his brothers, they'll pop in. Um, they will pop in to check on homegirl and see what's happening. And I guarantee you at some point, the van will pull up, probably filled with people and the party will be, you know, at my house. They'll be partying around me in my sick bed. Um, but, you know, you only live once. So, um, it, it, and you know, 
I know I'm acting like I'm not really nervous, you guys, but I am. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm very, very nervous. <clears throat> um, you know, I mean, I'm 56 years old. I'm going under anesthesia. I'm not, I'm not a spring chicken. Anesthesia is not good for anybody. And, you know, the older you get, the dicier it gets. So, you know, and I, there, could, there could be complications. So, um, so, yes, I am nervous. If I, if I didn't come across that way, um, I just want to let you know that, yeah, I am human. Um, I am nervous. I am very, very nervous. Um, and, you know, whenever they... Whenever they tell me what kind of anesthesia that they're using, it's always, it is always, what was that stuff, profanol or whatever. It's always what it is. Um, but you know what? I have faith in my surgeon, faith in the medical team, you know, and they're going to get me to the other side of it. And, you know... According to my doctor, I'm going to be snatched. So um, with that, I really am out, you guys. Peace.